Hey everyone, in my last video I went over how effective each event was to level up based on data I collected, but that doesn't always tell the full story. Today we will be taking a closer look at Athena to see which routes are the best to help you level up. For example, I found that the Fort of Fortune was a great event to help you level up, but it isn't as reliable as a Veil. I also found that Skeleton Fleets were a good choice, but since you need to die for them, you can't stack these and you have to go sell after each one, making them a little bit less efficient. I'm going to look at three popular routes for leveling up Athena from other streamers and compare it to five other common routes to see which is the best. Also, I know that LD is making a video on this topic as well, but I don't want any hate coming my way or to him for copying the other person. He got the idea to compare routes from a DM that I sent him, saying that I compared his route to Fuzzy and I found some interesting results that I'll go over later. I didn't mention that I was making a video on the topic, just that I was collecting the data so I can't be mad that he thought it would also be a good idea to make a video out of. Also, I encourage others to do the same. Don't just take my word for it. Go and test things for yourself. Make your own videos of routes that you find to be the best. Try other routes and then compare the results. Just because a route is fast and easy for me, doesn't mean it will be for you and your crew. There's also quite a bit of RNG in some of these routes with loot spawns and veil locations, so one test isn't 100% accurate. Lastly, before we get started, all of the routes in this video were done solo to keep things as consistent as possible. The only one that is a duo is Fuzzies, but that doesn't seem to skew the results too badly. Alright, now to the routes. In 8th place we have the Fuzzy Bond strategy. This route includes diving to the Devil's Roar, sailing southeast to W18 on the map, then doing three Athena shipwreck sections of the Legend of the Veil. One at Ruby's Fall, next at Fetcher's Rest, and then back to Ruby's Fall. After this, he lowers his flag and repeats the process. Going back in his VOD, his best run took him about 51 minutes from leaving the outpost to finish selling as a duo. In my opinion, it could have been done a bit faster if you just loot the main shipwreck and the ones along the way to find the key, but Fuzzy went and tried to find every Athena item, taking about 7-10 to 10 minutes per shipwreck and gaining 5-6 to six Athena items per wreck, on average. In the end, he gained 1.1 levels after selling and another 0.2 levels for lowering his flag, giving him a value of 1.53 levels per hour. If he didn't go for those extra items, he would have had a faster time, but also fewer levels, so it should roughly balance out either way. In 7th place, we have the Skeleton Ship Raid Cycle. To do this route optimally, you need to already be at Grade 5, so whatever method you like best for leveling up is how you should start. You need a level because you have to sell after each fleet since they're raids. The first fleet gets you to around Grade 3, the second to Grade 4, and the third to Grade 5. It took me 57 minutes to cycle through and sell 3 skeleton ship raids, and I gained 1.57 levels bringing it to an average of 1.65 levels per hour. This shows that the skeleton ship raids are slightly better than the shipwrecks, but it honestly depends on how quickly you can do them. Also, I believe this is one world event that does scale based on your crew size, because galleons and brigs have to fight off more ships during the raid, so each one drops more items and you gain more overall. So larger crews can get more value out of doing this route. In 6th place, we have a Veil and then lowering the flag. An average Veil can take anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes solo, but the one I did to test took 47 minutes. My RNG wasn't great since I had to do a Suds quest, which I kinda hate, and there was a good amount of sailing for this one. That is something that is hard to control if you do a full Veil, because after the first section, you kinda have to do whatever it gives you. In the end, the Veil gave me 1.3 levels, and lowering the flag gave me 0.2, coming to a total of a level and a half in 47 minutes. That equals 1.91 levels per hour. In fifth, we have LD's route. When I first started testing, I thought this route would be number one. His method is to start at the Sanctuary and do three sections of the Legend of the Veil, and then the Emissary Quest afterwards. Pretty similar to Fuzzy, with a few key differences. He's in an area of the map without volcanoes, which tends to speed things along. He also tries to stay in the northwest section of the region, and accepts shipwrecks or bell quests. His fastest attempt that I saw took him 36 minutes for the Veil, and 30 minutes for the Emissary Quest. In total, he gained 2.2 levels in an hour and 6 minutes, or an average of 2 levels per hour. There you go right there. That was, that was what, 100? About 120%? No, no. That was more. That was more than that. That was about 220%. Yeah, that was about 220% in one hour. In one hour, that's not bad. He had some trouble getting the Emissary Quest to spawn where he wanted, 
because there were other ships in the area. But both times that he did the emissary quest in the different areas, they seemed to run about the same amount of time. In fourth, we have Sin's strategy of doing an Athena Sea Fort, followed by a Legend of the Veil, and then an Athena Emissary Quest. I couldn't find his Twitch VOD where he tested this, so I ran the route myself. I believe he did it off stream so he could focus on his video, which is fine. This is the longest route by far, but had some surprisingly decent results. Leaving the outpost to finish the Sea Fort took about 9 minutes, the Veil took 47, and starting the Emissary Quest to being finished selling took 27 minutes coming to a total of an hour and 23 minutes. In that time, I gained 2.85 levels, which is a slightly better 2.06 levels per hour. In third place, we have Sin Strategy again, but without the Sea Fort. So you're basically just doing a Legend of the Veil and then the Emissary Quest. I didn't rerun this route, instead I subtracted the levels gained from selling the two Sea Fort items, and it subtracted the time it took to do the Sea Fort as well. This method gave 2.7 levels in total, and took 1 hour and 14 minutes to complete. This comes to 2.19 levels per hour. The top two routes are routes that I came up with, and they're inspired by LD's route, but also informed by my previous data with some slight modifications. After I posted my video, I went back and took a look to see if the Emissary Quest for Athena is actually worth it. It happened to be the second best event to level up Athena. So I combined that with a Skelly Fleet, which has the flaw of not being able to get to grade 5 before you can do another one, and filled in the gaps with two shipwreck veils to get my level up. So, in second, we have the first half of this route, which is just the Skelly Ship Raid, and then the two parts of the veil. You can start at any outpost and dive for an Athena Skelly Ship Raid. Once completed, vote for veils until you get the shipwreck west of Kraken Watchtower. Once that is completed, vote for a new veil and look for the shipwreck west of Shipwreck Bay. Once you finish all three, you'll be grade five and can turn in at nearby Dagger Tooth Outpost and lower your flag. This took me 33 minutes, I gained 1.33 levels or an average of 2.42 levels per hour. There were some complications however that I ran to when I tried to replicate this route later on. I tried to see if it was possible to spawn the shipwreck near Shipwreck Bay first for a smoother route, but couldn't find a great place to do that while sailing around near where the fleet was. I then tried to see what locations I could be at to spawn the Kraken Watchtower shipwreck, but kept getting the shipwreck near Scurvy Isle. even when I was at the same spot where I got it in my first run. So there needs to be more testing to make this route consistent to consider it for the future. And first, we have the full route. All that's different is you're doing the Emissary Quest after hitting grade 5 and then lowering your flag. The Emissary Quest in the wilds is pretty great. It gave me Shipwreck Bay, Crooked Mass, and the Sunken Grove for your first three quests, followed up by Isle of Last Words for a quick final dig. These islands are all really close to each other and make sailing a breeze. The Emissary Quest adds an extra 27 minutes and brings the total level up to 2.5 levels in exactly one hour. This makes sense in comparison with LD's strat because we completed all the same voyages, but I did the Skeleton Fleet Raid instead of a Bell Quest, which gives slightly better loot overall. He also had pretty bad RNG at one of his shipwrecks, which meant he only gained 2.2 levels compared to my 2.5. My time was also slightly faster, but that could change with Wind RNG and Human Error. In the end, all of these routes are pretty good and will level you up at a pretty decent rate. So find the one that works best for you. Also, try Hourglass and see how quickly you can level up doing that. I'll have a video out soon that goes over when you should lower your streak based on your win rate for maximum profit and XP. Personally, when leveling up Athena, I'll be doing the full Veil plus Emissary Quest strategy, even though it's not quite the fastest. It has a nice balance of helping me finish my Veil commendations quickly, while also leveling up at a decent rate. This may change in the future because they just announced today that they're going to be adding more loot to raids and revamping the old Athena quests, so I'll get data on those once they do change. Big ups again to LD Silver, Fuzzy Bond, and Sin. Their links can be found down below in the description, and also keep an eye out for LD's video to see if he has different results than me, and show him some love in his comments. Thanks y'all. Peace.